Okay, so on the axis below, sketch the graph y is x cubed. You should know this graph. This should be one in your armory. However, if you're not sure, you could do a table with x and y. Um, and maybe you'd start with minus 3 for x. Minus 3 cubed would be minus 27. Then minus 2, minus 2 cubed would be minus 8. Negative 1 cubed would be negative 1. 0 cubed would be 0. 1 cubed would be 1. 2 cubed would be 8. 3 cubed would be 27. And you get the idea. So it goes through 0, 0. It goes through 1, 1. It goes through or minus 1, minus 1. It goes through 2, 8. So 2 would be much higher. 8 goes to 2, minus 8. And it goes to 327, which would be off here somewhere. And 327. You get the picture. It looks something like this. Okay, in fact, I should draw it a little bit better than that. It's kind of like a, a backwards S shape, that type of thing. Okay, so I wouldn't even, if I was you, I wouldn't need the table, but if you're stuck, you can always find a table, but I would just straight away draw it like that. And the key is it goes to zero, zero. So that must be obvious to any examiner. Okay, the next one, draw the graph of x cubed plus eight. The y number has had eight added to it, okay? So, uh, this was the graph of y equals x cubed, and now what we're doing to the y number is we're adding 8. So actually the whole thing gets shifted up by 8. The only point we know for sure is this is 0, and now it's at 8. And everything's been shifted up by 8 units in the positive y direction. And that's that.